Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. Fire officials are investigating a blaze that broke out last night at BJ Barnes and Sons Trucking Company on Highway 30 just east of McCammon. KPVI News that works for you reporter Deanne Coffin was on the scene today and is live in our newsroom with the latest. Deanne. Matt, the fire started just before midnight last night. Trucking company officials were alerted that an alarm was going off in the building and by the time fire crews and witnesses arrived, the building was engulfed in flames. Fire investigators combing through rubble today looking for clues to what started a fire at BJ Barnes and Sons Trucking Company. Company workers got a call about 11.30 Sunday night that the alarm was going off at the building in McCammon. When they arrived, their building was engulfed in flames, but fire crews were already on scene. There was flames coming out the window and out the back door when I got here. He is just one of dozens of employees at the trucking company. Hopefully no jobs will be lost. It's just going to make a little bit more work. Um, for us, we got to transport everything to our Soda Spring shop and get set up there and start working out of there until we rebuild here. Fire officials tell me this blaze could have been a lot worse because there's flammable liquids inside the building and these fuel tankers just outside the building. It is a repair shop for a trucking company and there is um, oil stored in the premises and there's a couple trucks inside the shop that suffered some minor damage. Fire officials say they had the fire contained just after 5 in the morning but were called back about an hour later as the fire flared back up. It got in between some walls that we couldn't see and we thought we had it all out and it got the breeze picked up a little bit and kicked it up and just flared up a little bit. But we got right back. It didn't do any more damage, just a little tiny area. Investigators say it will take some time to figure out what started the fire, but they are looking into the possibility that it may have started in a work bay. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI News That Works for You. All right, thank you very much, Deanne.